Hi there, it's Rob from Onstage Lighting. Welcome to a short tutorial on using Virtual Dimmer, uh, which is a function that you can use on the Magic U and also on some other lighting desks as well. It's quite a regular question for people using uh, various bits of equipment at the moment, is uh, how you can get around particular problems you have, particularly with cheap kit, by using these techniques. Uh, so let's have a quick look at what Virtual Dimmer actually does. What it does, basically, is it creates an intensity attribute uh, where there isn't one in the fixture itself. So maybe it's a three channel fixture or a five channel fixture, particularly LED, which doesn't actually have a, um, a, a dimmer attribute or an intensity attribute of its own. This is particularly common if you also are going to use the generic three channel LED fixture personality. If you're pixel mapping with a lot of fixtures and you just want to set things as RGB but in three channel, Again, you don't have any uh, intensity control, so um, there's, that brings problems of its own. So virtual dimmer can be used to get around this. What it actually does is it creates um, a sort of a, a, a dimmer handle um, for a fixture that doesn't have it. You can also use a slightly more complex version of this to work around uh, fixtures which have dimmer and another part of um, an attribute, uh, say a strobe or a, a, some other kind of shutter uh, on the one channel. Some cheaper bits of lighting kit uh, have a number of functions on one channel and one of them includes dimmer. There's a workaround to get around this problem using uh, virtual dimmer. Uh, but we won't go too deeply into that today because it involves editing the fixture personality at a slightly uh, lower level than we're going to work on today. So let me show you what I've got. I'm just looking in my patch window at the moment and I'm looking at the heads. I've patched up an LED three channel fixture you can see it's on DMX Universe 1, fixture 1, it's also head 1, and also uh, you can see it's a colour mixing fixture, um, and that's basically the standard um, standard uh, three channel RGB fixture. I could have patched up um, a particular LED that maybe had five channels, uh, RGB plus strobe plus FX plus whatever. If we look at the channels themselves, you can see red, green, blue. Obviously if we had more fixtures it would go red, green, blue all the way down there. And this particular personality is uh, the color attribute is set to LTP, latest text precedence. There's another workaround where you run um, your color attributes as HTP, and there's some benefits to doing that, and um, particularly uh, if you're using a, a sort of a more of a non-moving light desk, like an old-fashioned generic uh, preset desk or whatever, uh, then obviously everything's run as HTP, and that has its own particular uh, uh, way of working, but um, in this case what we're trying to do is get around a particular problem we have using these simple fixtures profiles that don't have an intensity attribute of their own. What I've got here, obviously got my groups window and some colour mixing window and this thing here is the fixture itself just on a grid showing you the output from the fixture. The problem I have is if I wind up, um, if I select the fixture and I change the colour wind up the colours so you can see the red, green and blue attributes down the top left hand side, they're all set. If I clear that away, it stays as it is, because basically it's LTP, it's been set, and I can't make it go back down again. If I record that, as a, is if I record a colour, if I just record it down here on the first playback and clear away, you see I don't have any control over it, I can't black it out. Also, it's very difficult to change the intensity level of a colour you like because what you need to do is you set the colour you like and then if you want to make it the same but dimmer, you need to crank down each channel individually and try and hope you can get the best out of it. What you really, really want is dimmer control. If you go to the groups window, you'll find that the dimmer control doesn't really do anything that, that makes any sense to you. So what you have to do is basically create this virtual dimmer on top which gives you a handle of control over the intensity. First what we're going to do is go back into the patch window and look at the heads and we're going to patch up a dimmer which we're going to use as the virtual dimmer. It's not going to be connected to any kit and it's also not going to be on a universe we're using. So what I need to do is choose dimmer so I can patch up a dimmer. I'm going to put one. I'm going to do it on universe 5 just because it's well out of the way. So I go 1 at 5 hyphen 1, which gives me universe 1 fixture, universe 5 fixture uh, DMX address 1, and then just hit patch it, and you'll see it's given me a, a dimmer. So my LED is head number 1, and my generic dimmer currently is head number 2. 
In order to make that a virtual dimmer, what I need to do is I need to change this and any of the other generic dimmers I've set up to be virtual dimmers to match the head number of the fixture I want them to control. In order to do that, I just click on the field, type in 1, hit enter, and you'll see now I've got a V next to the head number. I can also change the name of the uh, fixture itself so that I know that it's a virtual dimmer or whatever. It just means if I had a lot of dimmers in the uh, stack, I could find my real dimmers from maybe my virtuals. So now I've got that, I can go back to my main uh, window again. You can see it's given me a dimmer group. Don't really mind about that too much because it's going to. What I'm going to do is demonstrate what that's given us. So, if I locate that fixture, you'll now see the intensity of that fixture has gone to 100%. If I whack it to zero, it actually goes out again. Back to 50. You can see it's grey at the moment. I can set it to a specific colour using the colour mixture. Bump through the intensities, down to zero, 50, 100%. If I record that as a cue and play the cue back normally as you would in normal mode on a magic cue, you can see it fades up and down and goes away because that virtual dimmer is effectively controlling the brightness of the entire uh, state the same way as it would as if you had a four channel RGB and dimmer or dimmer and RGB. So that's how you create a uh, virtual dimmer. Basically, uh, patch up a dimmer on a universe you're not using, set the head number to the same head number as the fixture you want it to control, and you're away. Hopefully you found that useful. See you again soon.